So what's up YouTube, Menace Effects Productions. Um, you know, quick tutorial today on the MV8800. I'm basically going to show you how to import your own drums from your computer, whatever you were using on Reason, whatever drum kits you have. Put them on the MV8800 and then go ahead and create a little patch for it. Save it on there so that way it's saved on your hard drive and you can just pull up those drums anytime you want to work. So without any further ado, um, I do have mine set up right now for the monitor, the VGA LCD mode. So if you don't know how to do that, pretty simple. Um, just you know, go over here to system, click on that, and then it'll have VG, VGA input. Click on that, and then you can switch it to the LCD mode. Um, for me, f with what I'm doing on here, it just seems to make it a little bit faster when I'm importing drums. Sometimes I like to do it the other way, but whatever, it's all good. So. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to click on disk USB. So if you look right up here, it's going to pop up. And just go to USB. So now what you have to do is connect your USB cable, hook that up to your computer. They hit connect. Um, I just hit no, don't save it. It'll be there when we get back. So now it's going to take a few seconds to link up with your computer. Once your computer recognizes it, it's all relatively simple from here. Alright, so we got the MV loaded up. You're going to go in here. I just put my stuff in user when I start off. Um, I have a folder that has samples. I'm just going to leave that because I put all my samples in there. But um, as far as for the drum kit, I'm just going to bring over like a little Acon kit real quick. Let that load up. Cool. Now that that's done, You want to make sure you disconnect the uh, MV8800 from the computer first. So eject the rolling. Once it tells you it's safe to remove, unplug the cord. And then you can disconnect it over here. Okay, now we're ready to import our drums. So what you're going to do, you're going to go over to import. Click on that. Screen's going to pop up. You want to go to your user, enter, there you go, Acon drum kit. So I got a couple files in there. So now you have that, you're going to want to mark every file. So you can mark each file. And I advise taking them out of out of the folders if you have them in a folder and everything right now and just put them all together it's the easiest way and then you're gonna wanna click on that import and I can do it from the the keys right here so go ahead and click import it's gonna bring all these in for you real fast now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to quick assign and I'm hitting F3 for that you can click on the screen and then go ahead and assign it to a patch and not a phrase a patch so now with that being said, if you take a look at this bank right here, you have all your sounds in there. So I only, I only loaded up 10 sounds, that's what's on there. And if you have more than that to check, you can click on your pad banks, that'll pop up. And if I had more sounds, you'd see them when I scroll down on the computer. So if I Whichever pad, whichever bank I scroll to, that's where the sounds are going to be on. So I want them on bank one. It'll be the first 10 pads. So with that being said, let's execute. Now that popped away. Now the first thing you want to do, you want to hit the quick edit right once you get out of there. This screen will pop up right here. Now I know this isn't my drum kit because I had something else loaded up so you, you want to just hit this button right here now this is the drum that it's on right now so if I want to change that 
it automatically saved it to the init 5 which was the next one I had open uh, maybe not, I'm, I'm lying okay, init 1 so I only have 10 sounds but as you can tell it they cut off pretty fast so I'm going to show you, you're going to need to put the release up for those also uh, what we want to do, we want to name this real fast. So click here, patch name, select, and then now I'll just go ahead and do Nikon. So now our patch is named Akon. Now, if you go right here to partial edit, you're going to see the release is at 10. Now, you want that release to be at 127 so you can just hit the pad once and it'll play however long the kick is or the snare or anything like that so for each pad you hit the release is at 10 so you want to hit each pad raise the release now you could do this with the mouse you can just click on the pad and then you can raise it with the mouse but since I'm using the camera I'm doing it on the MV so now there we go we have all of our pads so 10 pads like I said now if you, if you hit a pad that doesn't have anything on it this will pop up you just want to say no you don't want to create a pad with a sample um, now with that being said, let's go ahead and, uh, you're going to want to exit out of this one. So now you're back here again, click there, you want to save patch, select. Now I'm going to save my patch, you want to go to patches, I have mine in my drum kits and I, I moved all the, the drums that came with it and the extra drums I downloaded into rolling drums and I have my drums so now I can just save it in here execute completed now as simple as that now your drums are saved you got them in here if you want to load it and go to load patch There we go, Akon. That's what I had. So you want it on five. So simple as that. Now you got drums. And you can change it up here. Bam. That's it simple how to go ahead and load up your drums create a patch you're good to go I'll be actually having some videos on this pretty soon I'm gonna do a sample one too, show you how to get your release up and you know your 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 polyphony change so you can do it like an NPC and everything like that uh, if you like the video rate comment subscribe peace